Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Game Time Tennis in the building. What's going on, y'all, man? Um, so happy to be here with you guys, man. Um, I think it's time to talk about the elephant in the room, Nick Kyrgios. Man, before we get started, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Facebook at Game Time Tennis, on Instagram at Game Time Tennis, um, and on this channel, which will be changed to Game Time Tennis. Man, um, it's gonna be great, man. Got got so much uh, so much in store, and um, I think it's time, man. Hey, I had two episodes drop last week, man. I uh, got this one uh, coming in, and I have a special one coming in pretty soon man so just be on the lookout for that now elephant in the room if you can't see by the title what is wrong with nick curios all right man here we go all right so <sighs> nick curios man okay let me just let me give you guys my take on nick curios um and i'm gonna I'm pull up some stats while we're at it um, but Nick Kyrgios, man, uh, everybody just saw him play in Wimbledon against Novak. And what was the outcome? Nick Kyrgios holds the first set, um, I believe, and then lays an egg. Uh, lays an egg in a lot of people's eyes, man. Just to be honest, so first set was Nick Kyrgios 6-4. Novak took it 6-3, 6-4 in the third, and then a tiebreaker, which was a 7-3 tiebreaker in Novak Djokovic's favor. Okay, now, Nick Kyrgios right now is what many people would call in limbo. Uh, you see Nick Kyrgios and everybody goes, hey, look, you know, this guy is... He's impulsive. He is just outrageous. You know, he can't compose himself. He can't, you know, can't ring in the big wins. Nick Kyrgios, man, is one what tennis needs. As much as everybody loves tennis to be this gentleman's sport, um, tennis isn't only just played by the rich. It's played by everybody. It's played by the people with indifferences. Um, and yes, you want to hold yourself to a high standard, but that doesn't mean you have to give up your identity to do it. Serena has not given up her identity to be who she is. Um, you got players like Jack Sock, who may not have graced the highest rankings that they would like, but he hasn't given up his identity to do it. You got your old school players, your Agassiz, who... Did not give up their identity to do it, yet he was great. But the difference between Nick Kyrgios and some of these great players who have the Agassiz, who have really been the staples of tennis in their particular era, is a win-loss. That's it. So I think what we really should be asking ourselves is, not is he good enough to be on the tour. That's far beyond insane. Not are his antics too much. Because tennis would be born without some kind of antics. I mean, you get some great shots, but your come-ons and, and things of that nature, you don't have that. You know, what does tennis really look like? I mean, yeah, you're going to have some amazing players playing against one another, but everybody is is got all these different cultures, all these different styles. I'll tell you like this. I'm not that player that's just going to be like, that was a great match. This was fun. This was exciting. That ain't my game style. And for y'all who thought that I was just this, this premier um stand up guy on the court look i'm out for blood i'm out for blood i'm hitting the big serves i'm trying to serve him volley 
I'm coming in with that beautiful low slice. I'm trying to destroy you. I am trying to end what little hope of the work of tennis that you've put in. I'm trying to make you go and reinvent your game after I play you because I'm trying to beat you that bad. That's just, that's the honest to God truth. I am trying to destroy all presence of what you think you are as a tennis player. And because of that, you got to really understand and kind of hone in on the fact that Nick Kyrgios is, he's a lively player. His presence as a player has also been the reason why when players struggle, struggle to get the signature brands, his personality is so large that to try to put him into a bubble has been what everybody's been trying to do. They're trying to put Nick Kyrgios with all his personality into a bubble. And he is not a bubble player. I'm here to tell y'all that now. Nick Kyrgios is not a bubble player. Serena has never been a bubble player. Those these guys, this the um the new kid that's coming up. Oh my gosh. I mean it's like five or six of them. They're all in their own space. Zerov's in his own space. Dominic Team is in his own space. Nadal is in his own space. The only thing that's different between Nick Kyrgios and what we see as staples in the tennis world that we would like to watch more of is wins and losses. If Nick Kyrgios had destroyed Novak, the respect level would be completely different. People would be like, oh, oh, he, oh, he just destroyed Novak? And then they would say things like this. Well, he had three days off. Well, he wouldn't have even got to play Novak if Nadal was healthy. If Nadal was healthy, then look. That man signed up for a tournament, just like everybody else. And the fact is, things happen. People get hurt. People get sick. People slip and fall. Grass is a tough surface to play on as it is. I've seen people twist their ankles. Heck, I was watching the qualifying rounds, um, and I think it was... Uh, Oh, it was a uh, Harrison Ryan Harrison's brother. Um, can't think of can't think of his name. Playing in the first round, I want to say like the first serve or like five or six balls in. Maybe not. I know it wouldn't even pass the first set. Umpire gets smacked in the face on a serve. She couldn't do anything. She was trying to call. You know, they had to get hand gestures or out. And before she could even blink, it was like, oh, snap. Boo! You know what? That sucks. But sometimes stuff like that is a lot more exciting than the boring Novak won again, Nadal won again, Federer won again, and they're breezing through these matches. I'm sorry, but I need tennis to be exciting. And without players like a Nick Kyrgios, without some, you know, those aggressive young players or those older players or you got you got so many different players or, or Murray, Andy Murray saying, hey, I'm coming back and I'm playing doubles. Like, yes, like give me some excitement in this game. You know, I want some tough, hard fought matches, not this. I know where the ball's going. I, I have literally, and I, I'll tell you this, and, and because you guys are, are an amazing audience, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to be real with you. I have literally turned on the TV. My wife does not play tennis, never played. Well, she's, she's played one or two times with me, but she's not a tennis fan. And I'm like, oh, I just want to see the score. And it could be the first set, and it could be like 2-1. And I watched maybe two games, and I'm like, okay. She's like, that's it? And I was like, yeah. She's like, you don't want to finish watching? I'm not watching anything else. I was like, I already know who's going to win. And she's like, but it's not over. But I already know who's going to win. 
It's the demeanor that a person takes into it. What lost Kyrgios that match against Novak is his experience. That's it. His experience and his shot selection won him that match. And yeah, you would say, well, of course, the shot selection won him that match. No, not because it was so much better because of how he decided to use certain shots at certain particular points in the match. The ball that he hit in the first set was not the ball he hit in the, in the fifth set. The ball that he hit in the second set didn't look like the ball he hit in the third set. He beat Kyrgios with certain tactics throughout the match. This is working for this period of time. I'm employing this to do a little bit of damage. I'm employing this to do a little bit of damage. And I'm employing this to do a little bit of damage. When you have layers to your game in different styles within your own style of tennis that you can just throw out there, it makes it hard as heck to beat you. And if you learn how to turn those different styles on at the right time to just deplete a little bit of energy, just a little bit of energy, a little bit more energy. Imagine playing video games, okay? I love video games. So imagine playing video games. Man, I used to play Mortal Kombat all the freaking time, man. Loved it, loved it, man. And you would do a move, and that one move or that one special, that one grapple, when you hit them, it would take this much of their life. And their stamina would get hit too, and then the stamina would roll back up, and then you would hit another punch, and it would take a little bit more life. And their stamina would take a hit, and then it would come back up, they would recuperate. Now there were players that play Mortal Kombat. Those guys that I didn't want to play against. And that was because they put together so many combinations within one move that it was like a 20 hit combination to the point where if they got that one move in, it's over. They get that combination in, there's nothing you can do. You can't move, you can't you can't block you can't slide, you can't kick your way out of it, you can't punch no matter what you're pushing because that combination takes certain things away and certain elements away from your game that you can't use. I grab you like this with one arm. You can't use this arm until I let it go. And so what Novak does is Novak poisons his players slowly with the style of game that he chooses to employ at that particular time. That's what makes Nadal so freaking hard to beat. That's what makes Federer a player that you can never underestimate. That's what makes these older style cats that have been top 30 for forever, that's what makes them hard to beat. Some of these young guns could come in in one style of play and kill the game. But these old cats that have played, have had so much tournament experience, that have had experience at the semis and the finals more times than none, they know how to slow poison you. Nick Kyrgios was in amazing shape. His game has started to change a little bit too. His game, this Wimbledon, didn't look like anything he's played in the last six months a year it didn't it's a, a different style now i'm not saying that his forehand or backhand changed but what i'm saying is his approach to the game changed his approach to his shot selection changed he is starting to develop a shot selection that if he learns how to use them at the right time, the different styles of the ball being higher or lower, the different spins, the flatter balls when he needs it to employ a style for a certain period of time until that person starts catching on then immediately switching to a different style. So now they're not comfortable. What ends up happening is if 
you've ever seen on TV or anybody getting poisoned. Think about it being poison or a snake bite and poisoning you. It's not just, oh, dead. Certain players have that game style where they try to kill you with that one game style the whole match. And that works for some people. Sometimes that game style is just outmatched. But when you get into those later rounds and people have already looked and seen what you got and they see the game style that you have, I'm telling you now, they start to put themselves in positions to be on the favorable end and defend your game style very well. And if you're not multiversed, sorry, they're going to kill you with their wisdom of knowing this style of game and this style of game. And I'm going to hit you here and I'm going to hit you here. It's selective. It's like boxing. I'm not just going to punch you in the face 50 times. The really, really, really good boxers, bam, hit you in the face. All right, cool. What, is, what did that do? What did that make you do? Mmm, I hit you in the gut. Mmm, what did that make you do? When I hit you here, you folded this way. So what did that open up? It's, it's chess. And as you get higher in the game and as you see these players start to break the top 50, break the top 20, break the top 10, watch the players who stay at the top 10 and the top 20 long term now that I graced the top 20 for nine months because I was having a good good set of tournaments or well, I didn't play anybody super 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 good that I couldn't just beat handily I mean it doesn't mean that you know these players that are lower ranked aren't good but I can play I can beat that game style you know that's that's what you see those players that stay in that top 20 a long time have to have game styles that are so colorful that anything that they try, they're like, okay, I'm going to hit you with this because I, I like how that's making you do certain things. And when you get, you think you're getting comfortable with that game style of that, oh, I got him. I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. He changes it up like that. Boom. And... If you thought that you were ready to overcome that game style I was playing, I'm going to add this element to it. Boom. And then you're like, oh. And then I get you in the rhythm. And I'm going to add this element to it. Boom. Now you're getting frustrated. Then I'm going to go back to the first element. I'm going to throw in this fifth element. You ain't even seen that one before. I'm going to throw in 30 elements. Now you got to play against all 30. And you got to, you have to guess which one I'm about to use. Guys, Nick Kyrgios, as much as I wanted him to win that, he is in the process of developing so many different styles of his game to find out which one he can be comfortable with and take into battle. That's why Nick Kyrgios isn't there yet. Francis TFO, same way. That's why he's not there yet. Let me um, let me look this up really quick. Um, tennis rankings. Just because I want to show you guys who is in the top ten and what their game styles looks like. Okay. Right now, you have singles for 2020. This is from ESPN. Um, and this is today. Things can change. Turn Every time you play a tournament, you go up and down. Medvedev is number one. Zverev is his ranking is going down along with Medvedev. It's number two. Nadal's ranking drop. Why is everybody going down? All these arrows are going down. That's weird. I guess ranking going down from top to bottom that's what that is so Medvedev one Alexander Zarev two Nadal three um uh, Sissipas is four uh Rude is number five uh 
Alcaraz, that's the kid, bro. He is moving. He's number six already. The kid's game style is it's more colorful. It's way more colorful than Kyrgios. And I love watching Nick Kyrgios. Don't get me wrong. Man, I, I love that. I wish he would use his antics at the right time. But I love watching Nick Kyrgios. But Alcaraz, number six. Uh, Novak is seven. Rublev is eight. Um, Auger. Gosh, and I've seen this guy. This Canadian dude this he's a freaking monster. Bro, I love his game style. Him and uh Alcaraz, bro. I absolutely love watching both of them play. Um, and they play with the same racket, ain't that interesting? Um, and then you got uh center at ten, you got Cam Nori at eleven. Um I have no idea who this is at twelve. Her Kaz. Kazi, you got Taylor Fritz at 13. Taylor Fritz, we got an American in a top 20. Heck, we got two Americans in a top 20. Taylor Fritz, man, I'm so happy about Taylor Fritz development, man. Taylor Fritz just got outplayed by experience in Wimbledon. Taylor Fritz's game is coming along. Shout out to Taylor Fritz, man. You got Diego Schwartzman. I love watching Diego Schwartzman, man. Hey, he don't back down with nobody. But look how long he been in the top 20, top 30. All right. Then you got uh, Bertini. You got uh, Selick. Riley Opelka at 17. Carino uh, Busta. You got uh, Dimitrov at 19. And you got Batista Agut at 20. Followed by, let's go top 30. Okay, so you got 21, my guy, Gail Monfils. You got Isner at 22. Uh, Shapovalov. Shapov, I never can get this man's name right. Man, can y'all just put S, Daniel S? I don't know about it, if anybody has the same first name uh, here in the top 20. These names, bro. They be killing me. Can't have Jones. Ain't no Jones. Smith. Nori. Alright. Um, I'm not going to even try. Number 24 looks like B. Van De. It looks like Zupa Toscana from Olive Garden. I'm not going to say that name right right now, but you know what? I have seen the man play. He's nice. His game is nice. Like it's 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 really 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 nice, man. All right. Uh, not gonna even try. It looks like Basil Nashville number twenty five, and I know that's not how you say his last name. The uh, manner is twenty six. Not gonna even butcher twenty seven. Rune is twenty eight. Francis. Uh, TFO is 29 and yeah not even looking at 30 now everybody after 30 Mackie McDonald's at 50 everybody after 30 really there's only two reasons that these guys are really at the top 50 um, one, they haven't played enough tournaments, or let me flash this light real quick. They haven't played enough tournaments. Two, they battle injuries, which happens. Three, their tournament play, they've been knocked out first round by some of the higher guys early. Um, four, their game style isn't colorful enough yet. Or they're trying to figure out what style of game is the most powerful for them to employ first. Some players only come with one game style and they play that game style until it's dead. Hence, Andy Roddick. Come on now. My guy, Andy. When he came in, and Andy's from Austin, man. Shout out to Andy Roddick. 
Big serve, big forehand, no backhand. Somebody lying, tell me I'm lying. Big serve, big forehand, no backhand. What happened? He would get to these rounds, and the only thing that would stop him would be him. People would say, I just need him to have one bad service game. And all I got to do is hold. And I'm going to play to that backhand. And what did Roddick do with his backhand every single time? Slice, 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 slice. He tried to hit a regular backhand in the net. Boop. Slice, slice, slice. And then he would try to end these points. He would try to come in behind his slice because he knew they were going to punish his back end. One game style. Look where he's at. See what I mean? And it's past his era now, so I don't expect him to be still in. Um, in like some of these you know, older guys that just have multiple layers to their game. But to be honest, man, you got to have multiple layers to your game. So for you guys that don't have multiple layers, you're going to struggle until you find a game style that arguably, hold on one second, there you go, that's, that's arguably arguably, um, really difficult to play, and most players will struggle with it. That's the only way you're going to break into those top ranks. But let somebody have multiple layers and their layers combat your style. Yeah. That's going to be one of those matches. It's going to be a long day for you and a, probably a frustrating day because you might be on the losing end of that one. All right. Hey, man. I done spent 27 minutes talking to you lovely people. I am about to enjoy my time i'm off work man i ain't even take my shirt off man y'all like my shirt man look at that man i bought this shirt um man last year i bought it man and i love this purple bro it's purple with this white stripe and if i really want to i could put some cowboy boots on and some jeans and a, and a hat cowboy hat and go out and do my hee-haw dance I could dress it down like I got some jeans on. I just put some jeans on and some forces, man. Just went to work, bro. So, man, I, I love y'all, man. Thank y'all so much for watching my content, man. Um, stop giving Nick Kyrgios such a hard time, man. He's trying to find the layers to his game, like many of the players that's on the tour. He just ran across a player who knows his game already. That's the real. Nadal just knows his game already. That's the real. All right? So, get off my boy Kyrgios back. Watch him come back stronger, more agile. He's going to shock y'all. All right? Kyrgios. Hey, man, I'm I'm team Kyrgios, man. I'm, I'm team in support of you, man. So, I hope that whatever it is that, that you're battling with your game to try to get it to where you want it to be, Man, I hope that it comes fast for you because I want to see you in so much success that it's ridiculous. I want all the haters of, of Nick Kyrgios. Sorry, but I want all of you haters. Let him go. Leave him alone. You criticize a lot of these young players because of who they are and their expression. Let's stop that. Stop that. If they didn't have their styles of game... Tennis be boring as heck. Real talk. If we didn't evolve in the game of tennis, we'd still be with wooden rackets. All right? Support people's growth. Okay? Support the game that supports growth. It supports change. Dominic team, change. Nadal. Changed the whole face of the game. Fed changed the whole face. Novak was like, who is this kid coming in? And what is he doing? And how is he doing that? Let these styles continue to migrate and change the game of tennis, man. You guys are going to be so surprised at what comes of it. All right? Hey, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.